All right, now what we're gonna do is we are gonna do the upper threading on our machine. What you wanna start with is you wanna start by going needle down and needle up. What that does is it puts your needle in the perfect position. It also puts your take up lever, which is that little metal piece that you see back there. It takes that and it puts that in the perfect position for threading. So I'm gonna take my thread, making sure that it's spooling off from the underside. Put it on my spool pin and we are going to go one, this is two, this is three. Take your thread and sweep it all around the back on that plastic and then it'll go right into the take up lever. And you always want to take a peek in there and just make sure that it's in there too. Do you see where the thread is kind of feeding through? That's really important. That take up lever takes the bottom thread and pulls it into a stitch. All right, we're gonna go behind the thread guide, which is right here. So I'm just gonna kind of floss it in. And now if I haven't done it already, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go needle down, needle up. You have this great threader on your machine but it only works when your needle is in that one spot. If you've hand rolled your needle and it's right there, well, guess what? That needle threader is still gonna go come down in that one spot, but instead of going through the eye of the needle, now it's gonna hit the bar of the needle. So again, I'm gonna go needle down, needle up. I'm gonna bring the threader down with my pointer finger and with my thumb, I'm just gonna get it right around this metal part right here. Do you see that? And it's got to go from the outside, from the left to the right. I'm going to push all the way down. And what that does is it puts the threader through the eye of the needle. Now I can't see it, but I believe it's there. Like I believe in Santa Claus. I'm going to bring this on the bottom of that threader part. And I can tell that I'm in the hook that's through the eye of the needle because my thread's not coming towards me. And slowly, I'm gonna let this pull that thread to the back side, and you can see that big loop there that that hook pulled through the eye of the needle. What you don't wanna do is don't grab it through the front and pull forward because you're just gonna unthread it. You wanna grab that loop that's in the back and you are threaded. Um, take your thread, put it in that slot in your foot, put it to the back, and we're ready to sew. You don't even have to bring up that bobbin thread.